Welcome back to Twitter Essentials in Under an Hour. In this lecture, we're going to talk about the anatomy of a tweet. Specifically, we're going to be taking a look at the elements that make up a tweet, the elements of a published tweet, other people's tweets in your timeline, and viewing profiles from a timeline. And I also want to point out that we're going to be talking about some of these elements in more detail in a later lecture, like hashtags and at mentions, and how you might leverage them. We're going to take a look at the elements that make up a tweet, including hashtags, mentions, short URLs, and abbreviations. But first, let's take a look at the tweet screen. First of all, here's where you enter your tweet, right here in the body of the screen. And then down here in the lower right is a counter that tells you how many characters you have left before you reach your 140 character limit. Over here on the left, we have the location button and the photo button. And these are used to add either location features or to embed an image into the body of your tweet. And we're going to be talking about that in a later lecture. First, let's talk about hashtags. A hashtag is a word or a combination of words that has a hash mark preceding it. Now notice that the words mobile and web are run together here. There's no space in between them. Otherwise, only the word mobile would be the hashtag. Hashtags are Twitter's version of categories or tags. And once a hashtag is published, it becomes clickable and also becomes part of Twitter's search feature. So when I click on this hashtag mobile web, I'm actually brought to the results for mobile web, in other words, the results for the hashtag mobile web, that's now going to show me all of the other tweets that are using that same hashtag. So it's advantageous for you to add hashtags to your tweets so you can get them more exposure. At mentions are references to other Twitter users within the body of your tweet. An at mention is an at sign preceding a Twitter username. What this means is you are mentioning that tweeter within your own tweet. So when this tweet is published, this at mention actually becomes clickable. So that you, when you click on it, it will take you to the profile of the person that you're referencing within your tweet. Now you can see who has mentioned you in the body of their tweets by going to the at connect area and go to mentions. From there, you can see the tweets that have you mentioned within the body of their tweets and also who it is that mentioned you. A shortened URL is a short version of a full-length URL. They can save us valuable space in our 140 character limit. This tweet uses Hootsuite to generate its short URL. We'll talk about Hootsuite a little bit later in the class. We'll also talk a little bit about alternatives to short URLs in a later lecture. Abbreviations can also save us space within the body of our tweets. There are a lot of commonly used abbreviations. This one means please retweet. And these abbreviations come in very handy. Now there's a PDF in the resources of this class that has a list of a whole bunch of different abbreviations as well as resources for finding more. Let's take a look at some of the elements of a published tweet. First of all, I want to point out that we're going to be talking about viewing summaries and photos and media in a later lecture. For now, I want to take a look at the elements or options that are available when we click on Expand. That is going to expand this tweet so that we have these other options available to us. We can delete the tweet if we so choose. We can add it to our favorites list. Or we can reply to the author of a tweet by clicking the Reply button. And this is going to put an at mention at the very beginning of the tweet. What this means is that you are directing this tweet to this person specifically. When you mention somebody just in the body of a tweet, that means you're just mentioning them. When you put it at the very beginning of a tweet, it means that it really is specifically for them. So you would then type your message and click tweet. You would therefore start a conversation around this particular tweet. Now the More button reveals a couple more options. One is to email the tweet, and the other one is to embed the tweet. So when you click on Email Tweet, you're able to put in some email addresses and email it directly to somebody. Or if you click Embed Tweet, then you can copy this code right here and place it in a website or a blog. And then you're going to get a preview of what it's going to look like when you embed this code. And what I mean by embed is that you're going to copy the code and then go over to your website and place it in the HTML or place it in the body of a blog post, perhaps. And this is what it's going to look like once you've done so. We'll talk about this a little more at length in a later lecture. 
Now let's take a look at the elements that show up in other people's tweets on your timeline. So we can also click expand and when we do that with somebody else's tweet, we're going to see the things that already look familiar. We can favorite the tweet or reply to the tweet, but we can also retweet. Clicking on retweet means that you're going to share the tweet with your followers. Uh, this is where the viral power of Twitter comes from. When you share a tweet with your followers, they could very well share it with their followers and so forth. And so it can really go viral very quickly if it's something very popular. So when you click on retweet, it's going to ask you if you want to share it with your followers. And you can click on retweet. And this is how it's going to show up in your timeline with this little green arrow right here in the upper right corner indicating that it's a retweeted tweet. You can see who has retweeted your tweets in the at connect area and click on interactions. And here you can see the people who have recently retweeted you, which tweet they retweeted. Now the other thing you can do from a timeline is if you click on any profile name, like if we click right here, it's going to show a profile summary of that Twitter user. A profile summary is going to show the, remember this is the our, our main icon and our description and if we had a header image it would be back there. And it's going to tell us whether or not we're following this person or not. But we can also pull down on this little head icon and see them, some other options. From here we can tweet them directly, we can send them a direct message, we can add them to a list, and we'll talk about lists a little bit later on. We can block them or report them for spam, and we can turn off their retweets or we can also turn on mobile notifications in case we want to be notified whenever this person retweets us or messages us. Okay, so what we want to take away from this lecture is we know that Twitter hashtags are like categories and show up in Twitter searches. And at mention is when you refer to another tweeter in the body of a tweet and they also show up in your at connect area. Short URLs and abbreviations help save space within our tweet. Expanding a tweet reveals more options like favoriting, deleting, replying, and retweeting, which helps tweets go viral. You can email or embed tweets into your website, and clicking on any username reveals a tweeter's profile summary and additional options. And that concludes this lecture.